Welcome to This Week in Gato, where we take a look at the interesting, the awesome, and the weird things being developed this week in the Gato engine. And for 2023, we're taking the favorite project from each week and entering it into a tournament for the best Gato project for the year. So be sure to comment which number project was your favorite this week. And stay tuned to the end of the video to learn the winner of last week's vote. Let the countdown begin. Number eight. The Dark Lord has returned and unleashed his horde of monsters on humanity. In Awakened Evil, you must wield the legendary sword and defeat evil once and for all. Built in the Gato engine, Awakened Evil uses retro 80s graphics and old school controls to replicate the nostalgia of old 2D action platformers. Jump and slash your way through intense stages, unlock unique weapons, and master the expert mode as you give evil more than it bargained for. Number 7 Nothing like a little turn-based tactical gameplay. Outmaneuver your opponent and Techno Catalyst by hacking yellow objectives and wiping out the red team. Take advantage of multiple levels to gain the high ground, but watch your back. You can aim or melee the enemy to take them out, but the name of the game is Positioning. It's a great tactical game and we're excited to see further improvements in the future. Number 6 the number six spot was sent in by a subscriber of the channel and features a small survival game called Developed Caveman. You take on the role of said caveman or woman and you're having a rough time of it because everything is trying to wreck you. But like our ancestors, you can evolve and gain better equipment to fight bigger enemies. Whether it be dinosaurs or zombies, you'll have to be smart to choose your upgrades for each level. You can play Developed Caveman for free on itch.io. Number 5 You were deep in uncharted space on a research mission when disaster struck. Together with your friends, you must explore a mysterious asteroid field and mine whatever resources possible to build what you need to survive. Drift is an open-world survival co-op set in space. Craft, build, and explore alone or with friends to find a way home. Build your own interstellar ship with life support and other advanced systems Grab, mine, and forge resources, craft gear and automate the work, and rediscover space technology to build what you need to get home. Number 4 Crafty County is a city-building game made in the Gato engine. Explore and build towns by merging groups of four buildings to craft new ones. Discover and create new combinations to make unique structures and reach the goals for your city. Then use your wits to handle the ever-increasing flow of businesses and citizens joining your town. Everyone needs a good city builder, and Crafty County may be your next favorite, built in Gato. Number 3 Step into the shoes of Frank Marsh, a newly hired real estate salesman for Pure Sky Properties. Where the coffee is for closers, and the status quo involves hawking swampland to unsuspecting buyers for a tidy profit. In Dirty Land, it's up to you to decide if you cast your ethics aside for a quick buck or take the high road and scrape by honestly. Make choices that ultimately affect your gameplay experience, and every day brings new characters, new events, and new choices. On top of work, you'll need to balance your family life. Will you go home to the kids or try and close on that new property? Everything you do will change Frank's story. Dirty Land is coming soon on Steam. Number 2 Boundary is an arcade puzzle game by Red Punch Studios and was sent in to the channel. Available on Google Play, you find yourself stuck in the walls and needing to escape. Use your skill to collect the lights in each puzzle and make your escape. And if you have a game that you would like to see featured in a future episode, or have a game that you are working on in the Gato engine, you can contact us on our website, stayathomedev.com. Number 1 You may have already heard of Number 1, but it's worth a future anyway because it's another great success made in the Gato engine. Endoparasitic starts like most games do, with you having three limbs ripped off and having to move with one arm. Infected by a deadly parasite, you must save your research facility. Drag yourself through the corridors of a secret research lab on a remote asteroid fight off mutated monsters, and use various vaccines to stave off the parasite. Despite having lots to manage, everything can be done with the mouse. You only have one arm anyway. Solve puzzles, stay hidden, fight bosses, and most importantly, 
stay alive. For more cool projects being done in Gato, be sure to check out this video here. And don't forget to vote for your favorite project this week in the comments. And congrats to last week's winner, Rotato, who, in a close vote, earned a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And I'll be back next week with another This Week in Gato.